against Marco, you, you know, he's, playing, he's scoring too strong to kind of feel your way into a match. So, um, yeah, Marco's yeah. totally dominating the table. I know you say he hasn't produced the form that he, he has been, but he still looks pretty deadly once he gets in amongst the balls. He's, uh, he's playing very strong. Yeah, 32. So, back in the frame. Went for the double, got the double. Didn't even think twice about it. No, and it's the kind of shot that it's always going to take him onto the black. Now, this one big shot here, it's a natural to come in behind the yellow if he hits it right. Especially around that way with the brown on in the way. This is a wonderful shot. This could be game over. Superb. That was as good as the double, that shot. Trying to do well in the UK, that didn't work out for him. So he's kind of uh, quite fresh and... And if anyone needs a point to prove at the moment, it's going to be Trump. He, he, you know, John's had a fantastic couple of months. And maybe he's just kind of competitive juices are not as high as Judd's at the moment. Maybe Judd is really wanting this a little bit more than Higgins. And, and that could be the difference, you know. You just don't know at the matches, these type of level, you know. It's just the little subtle things that can make the difference. He's just looking at getting the cue ball twice across, going through a gap, just, I think coming towards the front of the, the pink and then... Trying to rest the cue ball on the red down by the right corner. It's a long from there. It's not an easy shot to play. It's, it's more about finding the initial gap. He's found the gap. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. Wonderful. All for the blue. Well, talk about rubbing salt into your opponent's wound. It's a terrific pot from Trump. But he did have a big slice of luck just now, didn't he? Well, he's looking at the swerve. Oh, this is dangerous. This is really dangerous. Oh, what a shot this is. What a shot. Oh, I can't tell you how good that is to put enough side on to get around the brown and make no contact with the pink. Brilliant. Could have easily underswerved that, could have overswerved it. shot in every sense of the word better than fine and Higgins the first to congratulate Marco Fu the master tactician knows a good safety when he sees one that could have gone wrong it could have been a very costly shot for Fu if he'd hit it slightly too thick as it is he's hit it perfectly and he's got Higgins in trouble well, don't tell me there's a gap there Oh, well, he could play a little swear here with some left-hand side. He might be able to knock this in. It's tight, though. It's tight. But he's got it. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. He had to apply, but he had to apply enough side to get around the blue, but not too much to hit the red. How good was that? Oh, where's he found that one from? Well, that's some pot at this stage of the game. I'm not sure Higgins saw that one coming. Well, not only is this about the angle, uh, Phil, it's about the pace as well, isn't it? Because he could leave a free ball. And, of course, if he leaves at that end, then John can play another snooker behind the pink. Apart from that, fairly straightforward. It's a sticky situation, for sure. Well, I think this is twice up and down. Long way, he's trying to hit the, uh, hit the brown. He's caught the pink, has he? Oh, what a hit. What a hit that is. He's got a quarter ball... Sticking out there. Unbelievable.
Well, he's actually hit that about half ball, but still a great escape. Oh, nearly, but John's pushed the blue safe. I mean, the black now will come into play for the snooker. He didn't want to do that.